Thank you for your purchase of the Jameson HCR Model AC Air Curtain. In this brief tutorial, we will explain how the Model AC unit functions and how to make adjustments to the unit. The Model AC unit operates at high voltages, so please observe all safety protocols before attempting to make any adjustments. For the most efficient setup, please make sure that the ambient air on the warm side and the refrigeration are both operating at desired temperatures. Please read the manual located in the control cabinet before starting the unit up. Starting with the discharge nozzle, notice that the nozzle by design has a curved appearance. This is intentional from the factory and needs to remain this way to ensure proper airflow. If the nozzle is out of adjustment, loosen the 7 16th nut and bolt attachment points, push the nozzle back into its proper curvature, and retighten. Refer to the manual for proper adjustment specifications. Due to the curved design, the nozzle will discharge outward toward the warm side at the top and inward toward the cold side at the bottom. The center airflow of the discharge nozzle remains neutral, blowing straight across. This will create the holding power across the door opening. This illustration from the manual depicts a properly adjusted airstream. Notice that the green line shows the primary airstream will follow a curvilinear path before reaching the intake side of the doorway. Notice that there is also some secondary airflow depicted by the red and blue arrows on the diagram. This secondary airflow is an indication that the air door has been properly adjusted. And in this illustration, it depicts too little velocity or angle and includes actions to correct it. Adjustments are made by changing the angle of the nozzle blades, closing or opening the damper slides, and or adjusting the air velocity settings. This illustration depicts too much velocity or angle and also includes directions for establishing correct airflow. Before adjusting the nozzle, verify your speed control on the variable frequency drive is within 43 and 48 hertz. The VFD is located inside the control cabinet. Use the VFD's control dial to adjust the speed if needed. Beginning with the discharge plenum, check the velocity of the airstream from the discharge nozzle. Start by taking a measurement approximately 18 inches from the top of the door and 18 inches from the bottom of the door. Each airflow measurement from the discharge nozzle should read between 11 and 1300 CFM and they should be within 100 CFM of each other. The spillover air measured on the cold side of the intake plenum should read between 200 and 250 CFM as shown by our technician in the picture. If the airflow is too low on the top or bottom, open the slide blade up. If it is too high on either top or bottom, close off the slide blade as shown here. These readings were captured with a digital airflow meter. Once nozzle adjustments and CFM are within manual specs, you can begin the ribbon test. The ideal setup is maximum angle with minimum velocity, allowing the airstream to just make it across to the intake plenum. With a properly adjusted unit, you will notice at 12 inches in front of the air curtain, there is no movement with the streamer. Thank you again for your purchase of the Model AC unit. If any further questions arise, please reach out to one of our project managers below or reach out to our factory direct at the numbers on the screen. Jameson, 
much more than a better door.